okay let us start the session okay so option plus gs plus cz so this is the thing so nowadays uh, if you go through the previous year question paper regarding with the cz uh, there is a difficulty level it is not a difficulty um, it's a time consuming one okay it's a time consuming one okay so therefore you need to give much importance to the cz even if you are scoring 140 plus or 120 plus but it fails to cross 66 mark it uh, obviously you are losing one year so therefore please uh, try to focus uh, also give much importance to this uh, cz paper at least uh, try to attend the classes regularly and also try to uh, work out the problems uh, which is going to be provided by us okay that is very important um, simple okay uh, regarding with the cz paper uh, you people do not have to worry okay uh, just follow the guidance properly then what we are going to do in the cz classes so first of all we are going to cover the aptitude part and then we are going to cover the reasoning part and then finally we are going to cover the reading comprehension also so don't worry about that so all the three things are covered but one thing uh, i always suggest uh, my students uh, uh, not to go with the reading comprehension okay always you have to be very strong in this area aptitude part and the reasoning part you need to be very careful and what is your strategy always you see many of my students present here and also a few uh, new aspirants also present here i would like to uh, discuss few things with respect to how to proceed uh, uh, this uh, c set okay choosing up the questions okay so in that out of 80 questions you need to pick a 30 30 confident 30 confident okay then plus 10 risk factor so this is the strategy or else plus or minus 2 plus or minus 2 don't go with the 45 47 etc if you do not have any confident with respect to the question since uh, if you go through the previous year question paper it's a very lengthiest questions i think uh, many of you attended that uh, uh 20 22 yes rajeshagar yes sir Rajagar, you know, right? Uh, you have felt that uh, questions are uh, easy, but it's a uh, very lengthy. Yes, sir. Time consuming. Yes, it's a uh, time consuming. So, out of uh, this uh, two hour, in the two hour, it is quite difficult to pick the question. So, there only people are lagging. Picking up those questions are very important. Okay. So, in this area, aptitude part almost 25, here reasoning part almost 20. So, obviously, so this is going to be the 27 plus or minus 2. So that's it, 27. So remaining questions are it's going to be in this area only. So therefore, you need to focus this area very carefully. You need to practice more questions. Okay, anyhow. So if you are having any doubt, please clarify now itself. Five minutes I have discussed. It's a time for you people to raise your queries. If no queries, I will move on to the topic. What should I do? Shall I move on to the topic? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Yes. Okay, today's topic is problem on ages. Okay, I will give you. Uh, anyhow, we are going to discuss the previous year question paper also, but not today's class. We will discuss previous year question paper separately. Maybe in the next class or else third class. We are going to discuss the problem on ages. So first of all, how to proceed this problem on ages? So that is very important. Uh, simple thing. So this is the introduction part. Whatever be the question, just write. So this is the present. Follow this carefully. This is present. This is future. So this is going to be the past. The question surely is based on these three only. Present, future, and then past. So here, future then what are the keywords present in that question paper ends okay after so this is the keywords so what about the past before ago okay so these are the things you need to note down here suppose for example i am just considering a and b okay I'm considering two persons a and b the age of uh, x a is nothing but x the age of b is nothing but y okay that is the percentage if they are asking you to find out the ages after 10 years then what do you need to do after 10 years then again what would be the 
age x plus 10 here what would be the age y plus 10 so this is the after 10 years okay so here before or ago okay then what would be the ages of these people x minus 10 y minus 10 okay so with this given data easily you can able to find out the unknowns and then easily you can answer so one simple note you need to take a note if they give in terms of their ratio the ages are in the ratio so i'm just considering small a is to b if they are given in the ratio if they are in the ratio then take that as ax and bx simple ax and bx simple no doubt right so far no doubt sir, yes, sir. okay clear so this is the simple okay for example the age of i'm just uh, giving some uh, overall question okay anyhow we are going to discuss a few at least 15 to 10 15 to 12 questions okay today so basic level questions only we are going to discuss i hope you could able to answer easily and also you can expect this kind of questions in your group exams group 4 or group 1 so this kind of uh, questions so in the consecutive okay next class we are going to discuss some more difficult level problems and then uh, the another class is going to be the previous year question paper discussion with respect to the problem on ages so clear right what we are going to do not only with respect to problem on ages uh, with respect to all the topics surely we are going to discuss the previous year question paper at least five to six year question paper okay so this is the thing so straight away we will move on with the question so no doubt right with respect to introduction part it's a simple only okay so, okay if they if they are asking you to find out the uh, ratio means what x minus so this is nothing but the ratio okay simple a by b that form is nothing but the ratio okay start people keeping paper and pen notebook yes sir very good yes sir just see the question alone try if you found the answer please wait for one or two minutes let others also do People found the answer. Is the correct answer? Can I wait? Wait, wait, wait. So, you people having the options, uh, like uh, sending the answer in the comment, also, you people do that, also, not an issue. Okay, uh, you can unmute and answer, also. Okay, that is also welcome. Even if it is wrong, not an issue, you people try to answer. Simple. Yes, proceed your answers. Who is going to give the answer? Somebody has completed. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay, what is the answer? Yes, Rajagar. Okay. Answer? Yes, sir. Twelve. Ratio of their ages after four years will be simple. Five. 
5 is to 12 sir 5 is to 12 okay correct 5 is to 12 so simple right so ratio of the preeti's age to the age of her mother i am just considering p as the preeti's age and a mom as the preeti's mom age so if i have already mentioned that uh, if it is in the ratio then what you have to do just consider in terms of a x okay therefore 3x here 8x simple so move on to the next statement the difference between their ages is 35 which means that 8x minus 3x is going to be 35 therefore here 5 x is equal to 35 then x is equal to 7 so after knowing the value of x then what would be the present age of uh, preeti and mom their present 21. age will be yes 2156 yes so substitute here 3 into 7 so this is going to be the 3x right the 4 3 into 7, so which is equal to 21. Okay, so here 8 into 7, so which is going to be the 56. So here, what they are asking you, you have found only the present. Okay, then future means after four years. Simple. What would be the ages after four years? After four years, what? 21 plus 4, then 56 plus. Four, right? The four, twenty-five. Here, sixty. They are asking you to find out the ratio. Ratio means what? Simple. Twenty-five by sixty. Cancel. With respect to five table, five five is a five twelve sir. So the four answer is five is to twelve. Anybody having a doubt, please clarify now itself. Whatever be the doubt, even if it's a simple doubt, please clarify. I am ready to help you. everybody clear see somebody is joining now if i move on to that screen recordings will uh, next class onwards uh, i have to inform to the team member also to